But everything we know about sports performance and endurance really can be explained by nitric oxide. It's what improves oxygen delivery, improves mitochondrial function. So as when these athletes, really the top athletes in the world are optimized their nitric oxide, then that's what makes them the athletes they are. They can go harder, stronger, longer, faster. Not only we're providing nitric oxide to enhance circulation and energy production, but we've titrated up your energy stores in the form of ATP. I mean, that's an incredible, there's no product like it on the market. It's the best energy and pre-workout product in the world, hands down. Okay, episode two. Welcome to the Heartbeat Happy Hour. I'm your host, Anthony Totoro. I'm here with my dear friend, Dr. Brian. How are you, sir? Good, great, good to see you. Good, good. So, what's been going on? Uh, crazy busy. Yeah, you know, we all Lots right? of travel, uh, a lot of good things going on, new product development, spreading the gospel around nitric oxide. Here we are. I tried that new product last night. Incredible. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a this is a game changer. I mean, this mm -hmm. this will truly maybe one of our greatest inventions and in product technologies that we're bringing to market. This will this will change the change the landscape mm -hmm. of medicine and really human optimization and personal health as we know it. And it's crazy too. It's it starts just with your morning daily routine. It's how right? we start the day. I'm 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 really excited to launch yeah. that. We need to get that thing going, right? Coming soon, probably <laughs> here in about three months. So wait for Stay the drop. Tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about sport today. Okay. Sport performance, recovery. We've done a lot of work with athletes in the past um, from products that we've worked on together. Pro teams, collegiate teams, Olympic athletes, Ironman athletes, yeah. you name it, right? Um, where do you see nitric oxide playing a key role in sport performance? Well, I think it's the, the science tells us that it's key to performance. You know, I went to the University of Texas spring game on yeah. Saturday. It looked good. You know, they've been taking our, our products for, for many years. And, you know, it shows on the field. But everything we know about sports performance and endurance really can be explained by nitric oxide. It's what improves oxygen delivery, improves mitochondrial function. So as when these athletes, really the top athletes in the world, are optimized their nitric oxide, then that's what makes them the athletes they are. They can go harder, stronger, longer, faster because of their ability to produce nitric oxide or when they take our products that enhances their own nitric oxide ability that improves their performance. Yeah, I remember uh, working with some of them and specifically different fields of sport seek different benefits, right, yeah. for recovery and so forth. Um, I remember like baseball pitchers with shoulder recovery and so forth. And I'm trying to remember the speed to recovery. Wasn't there some kind of improvement once taking nitric oxide? Well, look, it, it, it's really recovery because w soreness and muscle fatigue comes from what's called anaerobic uh, metabolism. So when your muscles run out of oxygen, they start to basically use anaerobic respiration. You get lactic acid buildup. That lactic acid in the muscles is what causes soreness. So, But if you can improve mitochondrial function, improve energy production, and improve the efficiency of oxygen utilization, then you don't get lactic acid buildup. You push back that anaerobic threshold, and recovery becomes much better. Interesting. So someone that's doing long distance, for example, would they need to take a lozenge mid run, say mile 12 or something like that? <clears throat> well, that's the beauty of it. I mean, everything in physiology is kind of production versus consumption, mm. right? So there's a flux rate of, of any protective molecule. So nitric oxide, the better trained athletes, the more nitric oxide you make upon starting exercise. But then obviously you consume that the longer you go. And so when you run out of oxygen, you run out of nitric oxide. When you run out of nitric oxide, you run out of oxygen. So what we found is these protocols, especially on you know, Ironman, these you know, multiple hour races, that you start with the nitric oxide. You know, I like the Dino beet powder because that provides kind of a, a time release of nitric oxide. Okay. But the beauty of the lozenge, you can put it in your pocket, you take them with you, and then mid-race, if you feel like you're, you're hitting the wall, pop the lozenge, get you to the next stage. And there we go, we've titrated up your kind of reservoirs of nitric oxide, mm -hmm. so it allows you to go longer, stronger, faster, uh, without running out of oxygen. Hitting back on something, you created a product in Obeats that you yeah. just mentioned, which included ATP. That's right. Can you harp on that a little bit? 
Yeah, so everything we do revolves around nitric oxide. So if your body can't make nitric oxide, we do it for you. But we can also apply these same principles to other things. If you have mitochondrial dysfunction and your body can't make ATP, then what do you got to do? We got to give it to you. We got to give it for you. Mm. Right? So the, the NO beads contains nitric oxide. We put electrolytes in there to improve cellular hydration. Okay. And we add the mitochondrial ATP. So we're basically, again, titrating up your ATP stores. So now you've got an energy reservoir. Not only we're we providing nitric oxide to enhance circulation and energy production, but we've titrated up your energy stores in the form of ATP. I mean, that's an incredible, there's no product like it on the market. It's the best energy and pre-workout product in the world, hands down. For, for our viewers at home that aren't that familiar with mitochondrial, could you explain a little yeah. bit more on that? So the mitochondria are the energy producing organelles of the cell. Okay. So every cell and, and basically the function of a cell is dependent upon the number of mitochondria per cell and how efficiently those mitochondria produce energy. <clears throat> and so every age related disease is associated with mitochondrial dysfunction and lower numbers of mitochondria per cell. The beauty of nitric oxide is it induces mitochondrial biogenesis. Okay. So m that cell has more mitochondria and it improves the efficiency of energy production. So when you give nitric oxide or you produce nitric oxide, you have greater mitochondrial function and greater mitochondrial density. Now you become a well-oiled machine. But without nitric oxide, none of that happens. Okay. How do you fit in the new trend of cold plunge and things of that nature? Well, it's all about regulation of blood flow, okay. and it's what's called hormesis. It's brief periods of shock that then allows these adaptive effects of the human body. Hmm. And so cold plunge is all about regulation of blood flow. So when you get in an ice bath or a cold plunge, basically all the peripheral blood vessels constrict because it tries to divert the blood supply internally to preserve the heat. Because mm -hmm. if you dilate the peripheral blood vessels, you get heat exchange, so you're losing heat. So then what happens, you get constriction of the peripheral blood vessels, and then it basically directs all the blood flow internally to preserve that heat. And then when you get out, you get vasodilation, and now you've restored. So it's, it's basically exercising your blood vessels. And so it's the brief wow. periods, but also the other adaptive effects of that is it turns, you know, white fat into brown fat. And what does that mean? That induces mitochondrial biogenesis. So mitochondria or kind of what makes the mm -hmm. fat brown. It's what, you know, in, in chicken, you got dark meat and white meat. Mm -hmm. The dark meat is the meat that has more mitochondria. It's really oh. the fast twitch muscles. Okay. Right. And so that is okay. what we do when you're turning, when you're making brown fat, it's thermogenesis. It Im yeah. increases your basal metabolic rate. So you burn more calories and it's, look, it's a, it's a proven time, you know, tested, proven kind of technique to allow for the regulation of blood flow. That's awesome. If you learned anything at home, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more. So what, what other type of products would you, and not by name or anything like yeah. brand, but, um, types of products would you recommend from both pre and post workouts? Yes. Yes. You know, I think we have to give the body what it needs mm -hmm. to do its job and then allow for adequate recovery. And so okay. this involves giving certain nutrients, either macronutrients in terms of protein, carbs, and fats and micronutrients. So what I like to do in kind of my personal routine, which I think works well for me, is I take an algae product, a corella and spirulina. It contains a lot of micronutrients, okay. but it also acts as a binder, and it can help bind toxins, whether you're exposed to toxins or whether it's a metabolic waste product that you're producing mm -hmm. during exercise. That helps bind the toxins, and you excrete it out. So that combined with the NO beads and the nitric oxide is really what, you know, and depending upon what type of exercise you're doing, you need to fuel based upon that type of exercise. Okay. So uh, back to the NO beads product, would you, how would you recommend someone actually takes that? Would they do it pre-workout? Would they do it post-workout for recovery? Mix it with anything? Look, the um, bead product is kind of a standalone nitric oxide. So we position that either as an energy product, okay. an afternoon pick-me-up, or a pre-workout. And the beauty of it is you don't have to take it 90 minutes before your workout because as soon as it hits solution, it generates nitric oxide gas. Hmm. And so when you take that, then we're actually producing nitric oxide, we're enhancing blood flow, and basically priming the body for energy production.